Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a real quick book haul of the five books that I need for my summer class that I'm taking currently, and it's immigrant literature, so they will all be based in that topic, immigrant literature. That didn't make much sense, but I hope you got where I was going with that. One quick thing before I really get into it is that I don't know anything about any of these books except for one of them because I've already read it. I try to keep an open mind when I go into my lit classes, but I don't have a biased opinion of what the book's going to be about or what I think it should be about and then what I don't get out of it because that's always frustrating when you know that a book is supposed to be about something but you don't get that you don't get that from your reading. So I try to be unbiased and I don't know anything about these books. The other thing is if the book sounds totally boring, I'm not going to want to read it even though I had to read it for class, so not knowing what it's about is beneficial in that way too. So I try to keep a completely open mind, I don't know anything about any of these books. The first book I have is A Gesture Life by Chang Rei Li, and this is the one that I've actually already completed. I have a test on it tomorrow, so we will be very intimate tonight as I continue to look over my notes and um, what I've highlighted. Well, I don't highlight, I bracket. but. I don't know if you can even see that, but what I bracketed in the book. So, yeah, I will do a review of this one. Actually, I'll probably film it right after this. And that will go up on Friday. So you can look forward to that on Friday. I will be doing lit reviews of all of these books, only because I don't know how much free time reading I'm going to get in the next couple weeks. So I'm just going to review these books because they're the ones I have to read anyway. So if you're not interested, don't watch them. If you are, well then watch. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. The book I have to read for next week is Unaccustomed Earth by um, Lahari. I don't, don't know how to say her name, but I feel really bad butchering names. So yeah, I have to have this read by next Wednesday, and I haven't started it because like I said, I have a test tomorrow on A Gesture Life, and I don't want to get myself confused and thinking about too many books at once, especially if my test tomorrow is just on one book. I want to just focus on that one and so as soon as that's over I will start reading this tomorrow night and get it done by Wednesday. I don't really have another choice. Actually that's not true. I only have to have the first half of it done by Wednesday but I have to have the second half done by Thursday and there's no way that I'm going to read half a book in one night. Well I could but I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read the whole thing before Wednesday or at least the majority of it. That's my goal. Um, yeah, and this one's a pretty miserable copy. It's really gross. I bought them used from Amazon, and I try to spend as little money as possible on the books I have to read for school, because then, yeah, then I have more money to spend on books that I want to read, and that was probably dumb. I think I paid a penny for this, so I can't really complain about the condition it's in, but I am going to kind of complain about the condition it's in. It's not very nice, and I don't like it. But, so, if I like any of these books, because they're all in pretty miserable condition, if I like any of them, I will probably be going back and buying nicer copies. But, you know, you never know. Um, the book I have to read after that is Elijah Visible by Thane Rosenbaum. I don't know anything about this one at all. I have nothing to say. This one's actually in fairly decent condition. It's got a little markage up here. But other than that, this is probably the best book that I got. I also think I paid a penny for this one, you know, other than shipping, but yeah, so that's pretty nice. This one's the last book that I have to read for the class itself, um, which is Brother I'm Dying by Danicat, and I'm actually really looking forward to this one. I'm sad that it's at the end, although knowing this professor, I think she withheld it from the, for the end because it's probably going to be the best one we read. Um, I have read Breath Eyes Memory by Danicat, and if you haven't read that one, you should. It's fantastic. It's a lot shorter than this, um, but so I'm really, really excited about this. And these are actually pictures of her own family, which I just think is a nice little touch. But I'm really excited to read this one because I loved Breath Eyes Memory. And I also read it for the same professor for my Women Writers of the World class, so I'm really excited to get to read this one too. Like I said, those are all the four books that I needed to read for the actual class itself. We read one a week for four weeks and then we're done, which is kind of nice. Um, but then on top of that we have a research paper and she gave us a list of novels that we could choose from. And, you know, so I chose. And this is the one I chose, Bread Givers by Yuz Yuz Yuzerska. I think I said that right. I don't, 
really bad. I have read some short stories by her and I was really into it and I liked them and so I was excited to read this one and then I got it. I didn't do much research. I just kind of looked through the titles and there were several books on there that I had already read and she told us we couldn't reread something. Um, so I kind of dug through, threw out the ones that I'd already read and got to a shorter list and there's some that I just didn't want to read that I kind of knew a little bit about and I just didn't care for. Um, and then there are other ones, I think I narrowed it down to a list of four. So from there I narrowed it down to a list of three and they are um, Lucy by Kincaid and Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan and then Bread Givers which is the one I chose. And really the reason I chose Bread Givers is because I have read other things by her. I really liked it. Um, it's also, I know it's a Jewish book and I don't know why I really like Jewish stories. I don't know. They called me and I like them and so I thought it was great. And it's got some pictures in it. I don't know if they're actually like her pictures or what, but I don't know. I'm pretty excited to read it. And then I got it and I got it used and someone else has already gone through and underlined and written stuff in it. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Depends on if me and this other person agree. If we tend to mark some of the same stuff, that's pretty nice. I don't have to go back and mark it myself. But then if they mark a whole bunch of stuff that I don't think is important, it's kind of going to get frustrating. But we'll see how it goes. This one's also in really nice condition, so I was excited about that. And hopefully I'll really like this one when I keep this one. So that's all I got for you. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.